A live look now in Regent Park, an early start to the day with some uh, playing of the soccer, I suppose. Uh, I'm Faiza Amin. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. I'm filling in for Melanie Ng uh, and Natasha Ramsahai. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, I was just surprised that people get up this early. I'm always shocked when we I'm learn dying. new things. I'm dying right now because like of the playing of the, playing of the soccer playing of, of the some soccer. sort. <laughs> yes, that is what At 8.01 a.m., this is Who what people that? do, is that they get up and they get active, you know. What, what do I know about that? What do you know? I don't know. Uh, listen, the, what about baseball? Baseball? Okay, wow, crickets, crickets. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, we're going into Christy Pitt. So this was last night. Uh, Hamilton Cardinals and the Toronto Maple Leaf baseball team were playing at Christy Pitts. Now, their game was postponed from last week because of rain, and it's a good thing that they had that game last night because tonight, my son is actually supposed to have baseball there tonight at Christy Pitts, and it may very well be canceled because of this cold front. This is going to act as the trigger for these storms incoming. There is a slight risk of isolated power power outages as well, especially off to the north and west of the GTA uh, areas where we're expecting some of the stronger storms and as well as I mentioned to the west. I think Mississauga may walk away with some of the heavier rainfall amounts out of this. Uh, models, forecast models don't do a great job at forecasting rain amounts with storms. We could very well top out at much higher amounts in a short period of time. So there is a slight risk of some localized flooding as these storms come through today. I think Friday will be dry. We'll get some more rain moving in overnight, and that's going to continue into Saturday. So Sunday is kind of the better of the two days this weekend if you wanted to do outdoor activities. And then the heat is on again next week on Monday and Tuesday with some pop-up shows. Showers. Okay, eyes to the skies again later this afternoon. We'll send it back down to you guys. Breakfast Television's Pollen Report is brought to you by Reactin.